Assalamu alaikum to understand the center of resistance what we need to do first of all we need to understand the center of gravity so whenever a body is unrestrained means there are no kind of forces acting on the body it has a point in itself every body has a point at which it can be perfectly balanced so every body which is unrestrained has a point at which it can be perfectly balanced so this point is called the center of gravity right but when we talk about the teeth this is not a unrestrained body there are forces acting on this tooth by the periodontal ligament right and also by the opposing teeth when we chew something when you you know try to cut something forces are acting on this body so this is not an unrestrained body this is in fact a restrained body so when we are talking about teeth we have a point on this teeth that is very similar to this point but here this point it is called the center of resistance okay now here this point was the balancing point the question is what does this point do so this is the point where if you apply force then the body the entire tooth will have a translatory motion means the entire body will move like all the points of the body will move in a line so that is called the center of resistance by definition a force with a line of action passing through the center of resistance here it will produce translation now this point varies with the number of roots you having in single rooted teeth this point will be on the long axis of tooth probably somewhere between 1/3 and 1/2 of the tooth so here this is for the single rooted tooth but for multi rooted teeth the center of resistance is 1 to 2 mm apical to the furcation so this is the furcation okay so this is 1 to 2 mm apical to the furcation in the multi rooted teeth now please note that the center of resistance depends upon the length of the root okay it also depends on the alveolar height all right and obviously we saw that it depends on the number of root or the root morphology so it depends on three things the center of resistance depends on three things it depends on the root length it depends on the alveolar bone height and it depends on the number of roots the teeth is having